If sales volume is down, prices should be going down too, right? If you're a buyer or seller considering Vero Beach, Florida, stay tuned as the answer to this question may surprise you. I'm Sally Daly, The Daily Group at Douglas Elliman in Vero Beach, Florida. Welcome to our November 2022 market report. Buckle up, we're gonna dive right in. Inventory of single family homes on our island ticked up a smidge this month, again, with 110 homes for sale. Still 30% less than pre-pandemic levels. Sales continue to be much lower in volume than 2021 and even Q1 of this year. So if there are less sales, Prices will be going down right after them, right? Nope. Check out these two graphs that illustrate that pricing remains strong in Vero Beach despite sales volume being down significantly. I know it's easy to assume that sales prices go the way of sales volume. If volume is down, so too prices must be going down. But this has not been the case on our barrier island as these graphics clearly show different trajectories. Volume is down, but prices are now turning back up. But Sally, how can that be, you say? The reason for Vero Beach and this phenomenon is three words, low density zoning. As long as supply of houses to buy remains low and we have historically low inventory, coupled with low supplies in place, reductions in buyer activity do not pull pricing down on Vero's Barrier Island. FAR just released third quarter housing stats indicating Florida and the Sun Belt showed continued price increases while all other markets in the nations are seeing pricing declines. While the rate of appreciation is slowing, do not confuse that with price depreciation. The exodus to Florida continues and Vero Beach, with its low density zoning, offers buyers strong value support and greater hedge against market downturns. So while pricing remains strong, you'll see an overall slight advantage to buyers as buyers have less competition when pursuing houses. And depending on how many days on market the listing has been, may be able to pay below ask or ask the seller to buy down their interest rate to make the loan more affordable. Next month, we're gonna to look to see if buyers waiting until post-election returned to the market or if this trend of lower sales volume with higher pricing still looks to continue into Q1 of 2023. If you like this video, please hit subscribe above to our YouTube channel where you can find great videos about the Vero Beach market and lifestyle and be notified when we get new videos out. Until next time, I'm Sally Daly with The Daily Group at Douglas Element. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more content about all things Vero, subscribe to our channel and you'll get notified when we publish new content or click the videos to my left.